Mike Cardano with Roto Experts in the Fantasy Sports Network here with your Daily Fantasy Minute. Remember when Taiwan Walker let up nine earned runs and just three and a third his first time out this year? He lasted a bit longer his second time out. He went four innings and let up only five runs. His third start, he lasted five and a third, giving up just one earned run, striking out eight. Now last night, if you weren't swayed by his poor season totals, you were able to play him in a tournament for a measly $6,500 on FanDuel, owned by just 1.3% of the playing population. He went seven strong innings with a whip of just one, getting a win with five strikeouts, resulting in 16 points. And this allowed you to roster some very desirable hitters on the night. If you have confidence in your selections, do your homework, and feel you're able to put players in good matchups at attractive prices, don't avoid players because they performed poorly in previous night's game or in a small sample of games. Just because you didn't pay a lot for a player on any given night doesn't mean that you're punting the roster spot. There are going to be players out there that are going to be under-owned in tournaments every night. All you need to do is find them, and that's why we're here. Now, the New York Mets will throw 24-year-old highly touted prospect Rafael Montero tonight for a spot start against the Marlins. And I'm going to be using him as my second pitcher on DraftKings for $6,500 and in tournaments on FanDuel for $5,800 where there are only three pitchers cheaper on the day. Why? Well, he's had a cup of coffee in the majors, logging 42 and two-thirds innings with a 4.07 ERA and striking out 9.1 batters per nine, but there really isn't a true body of work to go off in terms of evaluating his major league performance. But the minors, over five seasons, Montero started 79 games with a 2.75 ERA, a whip of 1.068 while striking out 8.6 batters per nine. Now, Rafael will be facing a Marlins team that leads the National League in strikeouts with 168 fanning nearly nine times per game. And Montero, like Walker last night, I am guessing, will go virtually unowned, providing a wonderful opportunity in tournaments. All right, on the offensive side of things, I want to get Detroit Tigers hitters in against Mike Pelfrey. All of them, if I can. Lefties, righties, switch hitters, transgenders, whatever the heck they're putting out there today. Pelfrey has to be the least imposing six foot seven mound opponent in the history of baseball. Barely striking out five batters per nine for his career with an ERA of 4.53 and a whip of 1.48. When you think about the fact that 70% of those awful stats came in the National League, where the pitcher hits, it's remarkably unimpressive. Furthermore, left-handed hitters have hit 282 against him for his career, and right-handed hitters have hit 290. 290! For the record, if you've been following along, I tried this very same thing last week against the Royals, and it didn't quite work out like I had planned, as Pelfrey turned in his strongest outing since joining the Twins in 2013, tossing seven scoreless innings last Wednesday, scattering four hits and two walks to earn his first win since August 20th of 2013. Now that, to me, was an anomaly, and like I mentioned in my open with Taiwan Walker, you can't be swayed by a recent small sample of work when your due diligence tells you otherwise. Mike Pelfrey sucks. He's a bad pitcher. He has an awful habit of licking himself on the mound like a stray dog, and I expect the Detroit batters to take him to the woodshed today. So pick out some Tigers that are priced right for you, and let's make some money. Now, if you're looking for some more site-specific recommendations, including different options for value plays, tournament plays, and cash games, check out the premium products on DailyRoto.com, put together by Drew Dickmeyer, Mike Leone, and the most respected team in the business. Their email alerts will keep you from missing all the latest last-minute changes in weather, cities where there are riots by morons causing game cancellations, and last-second lineup substitutions. And the forums on the site are jam-packed with useful interactivity and information, like site-specific strategy suggestions that benefit the entire user community. So head on over to dailyroto.com and check out the advice and forums and interact with the rest of the DFS community looking to hold their craft. Good luck today, everyone. I'm Mike Cardano, and this has been your Daily Fantasy Network.